Hello and welcome to another episode in which we learn how to mod Total War Warhammer. Right now we are deep into um, getting these pigeon bombs into our game um, and make them look correct, not like fell bats but like pigeons. So um, in the previous episode I uh, left off that I was going to uh, make a unit card for these things and uh, I went ahead and did so. So um, in the unit variants, uh, we can see unit card uh, column over here. So if we go into our uh, Empire Pigeons, we can change our unit card from uh, Fell Bats to Empire Pigeon Ball. And then, if we go into our data.pack, you'll notice that the structure of the file is UI, units, icons, and then the and then the image. So um, if we can go here, we can create our new directory. Or empty directory. UI. And then we'll add the file that I made. Um, pigeon bomb. So uh, that should show up in game. I'll I'll show that later uh, once we show off everything. And um, now we'll get into the meat of um, creating this uh, variant mesh definition and our DDS. So the first thing, uh, we have downloaded Hex Editor in the last video, uh, but in this one you'll want to download um, some sort of DDS editing file. And uh, paint.net works. Uh, I sometimes use GIMP, but sometimes, um, and then with the DDS plugin, but sometimes it doesn't, I, I'm, I'm not an expert on this, and I must have exported um, the, the DDS file incorrectly, so paint, paint.net is a surefire way of, of working. Um, and I've used it uh, several times to work. So, um, so this is, let, first let me explain how the entire variant mesh definition rigid model works. So, in our variant mesh definition, it points to, right now it's pointing to the Felbat rigid model. We will change this once we create our own, own rigid model. So a rigid model is, um, is, it's a it's a file that basically uh, tells um, tells the three D uh, engine or whatever to uh, how um, how to put on the textures and the and the normal maps and the specular and things like that. So if we go into um, if we go into variants DDS and under BA one uh, which is where the bats are. So various DDS.pack has variant meshes, variant models, and over here it has five different types of files. Over in the variants pack, we go into variant models, BA1, VAMP, 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 we have the rigid model. So what we're, we're going to want to do is extract both of these. And then... Uh, this is how it works. The there are five different files. There are normal maps, uh, 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 DDS files. Uh, there are diffuse files, which is DDS. Uh, normal maps. So DDS basically tells the game what the texture looks like, the colors and the color scheme. Yes, and the normal map is uh, how what if uh, there are little ridges on it, if the surface pokes out in any way, the normal map, based on the, the level of orange, um, t if it's more orange, it pops out more, and you can see this is very definition where this is pretty smooth. So uh, then you have the mask, um, and the mask files uh, basically tell where 
the color scheme to go. So different factions have different colors. So if you were to have, um, if you were to recolor the vampire to be like uh, in the in a different faction, you could tell it to have a different uh, color scheme. I don't know. Normally these uh, ma masks are uh, red. I mean, completely black. So red means they're uh, is the primary color. So if a primary colors faction shows up. Um, it basically tells where the faction's colors to go. I'm assuming that the vampire bats don't don't have any color because they don't show up uh, black and red like the the uh, vampire counts. Uh, the specular just uh, tells it how um, shiny it is, or maybe um, it's it's complicated. It's like the texture. It's I'm not I'm not too familiar on uh, specular and gloss map. I never edit them. The gloss map is like how shiny it is, or or something like that. Um, I'm not a big 3D person. I am not good at that. Um, and for our purposes, we're just going to be editing the diffuse files. So those are the five different types of files. And then the rigid model. If we can open this with our hex editor program. Uh, we'll just open our hex editor. So our hex editor can read rigid models, and we will open It's going to take me a while to find this. Okay, so we found our rigid model here. We're gonna wanna create a copy of that and we're gonna paste it here. And uh, uh, so I'm not sure why, but what you wanna do is you always wanna keep the number of characters the same. It has something to do with the way the, the hex editor finds and replaces. So we have Felbat01, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven characters, and then zero, one. So we could do uh, pig bomb, zero, one. I don't think the actual naming of the, the rigid models, but once we get into the into the, the hex header. And then what we're gonna wanna do is uh, cr copy all of these, and rename each of them to, oops, No. And we're going to rename each of these and replace Felbat01 with Pig, Pig Bomb01. And this will be important when we are doing our hex editing. And we also want to replace the vampire with empire. We won't actually be using all of these files, but it's it's good just to create our uh, custom things, just for the sake of if we wanted to uh, create custom masks or anything. Or normal maps, and you you could technically uh, do a better job of of uh, making uh, the the bats look like pigeons, um, but I am not very good at uh, all of this stuff.
So once we have all five of our files here, we are good to go, and then we have our rigid model. And then we're going to be wanting to open in the, the Empire Pigeon Bomb, which for now is an exact copy of the Felbat. So you can see this interface here. It has It's extremely cryptic, but you can see at certain places you can see uh, BA1 Vampire Vampire Felbat text. And things like this, it's it's all it's all pretty weird, like wing right. So this is all this is it pointing to different parts of the the body and telling it what to uh, what parts of the DDS to lay on layer on. So um, another thing we're gonna want to do is BA one. We're gonna create our own uh, folder here, and and just copy the file structure. So instead of vampire fell back. Uh, bomb instead of and then take our stuff from here and then take our oops and then we'll close this well just to and then take our empire uh, pig bomb from here Make sure to create our text folder and then paste that puppy in and then make sure we delete our rigid model from here. So we have set it up, it is, everything is an exact copy but um, now we can actually customize it. So we're going to go back to hex editor, open pig bomb again. And now what we're going to do is we're going to replace every everywhere we see vamp, vampire, felbat. We're going to replace that with, so we're going to do a find and replace. This is why you want to keep all the characters the same length. Because if you don't, uh, it's going to screw with all of this, this neat orderliness. <laughs> Even though it doesn't look orderliness, I do not understand any of this. But... Um, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna find and replace, and we're gonna every ser every everywhere we see uh, felbat, we're gonna replace with uh, pig bomb, and then we're gonna replace all. Make sure I'm just one less check seven seven. Yep. Replace all. Okay, sixty occurrences. That's great. And every time we see vamp. Oops. Every time we see VMP, we're going to replace with EMP. Um, I'm sure you can. Okay, 90 occurrences of that. And then, um, that should be enough. That should be all the replacing and finding we need. Um, if we we can check, we have M pig bomb one. Yes, yes. Everything seems up to snuff, and that should be pointing to our new custom uh, DDS files, which are copies for now. But we can change that. That is the key point. Okay, I I don't think. There's anywhere else that we need to change anything other we need to replace. There's always something you need to check though. Make sure you have correct um, It's all very confusing, all of this language and you just have to trust that it's all working. And yep, Empire Pig Mom, we all we all have that. So, okay, we should save that. So now our uh, rigid model uh, is working correctly, and all of these we now can edit the diffuse. And I will take a quick break, edit this diffuse, and I will be back. Um, first I'll open it. No, not with GIMP. 
Um, I like GIMP better, but it can... Yeah, no. Uh, we're going to open with paint.net. So once you're in here, you can edit this, boom, boom, whatever. I'll make this all white, make it look like a pigeon somewhat. Not too great at doing this, but I'll see you when I've done so. Okay, so now this pig bomb has been recolored to be white in most areas. And now the last step will be to actually be putting this into our very mesh definition. So in pigeon bomb unit pack, we will change this to amp, oops, amp, pig bomb, pig bomb, and you not you do not have have to worry about the imposter model. That should not matter. Okay, and then we want to copy our file structure of uh, variants and variant DDS. So we want variant models under variant mesh under variant meshes. We want add an empty directory or hammer variant models. And then we want to add a file. This will be our rigid model that we created. Oh, no, no, no. Um, sorry. We want to add another empty directory, which will be the A1. And pig bomb. And now we can add the file. Okay, and we save that, and then we want to add, uh, we want to copy our file, file structure for variant DDS, and this will be text. And now we select all of these. So everything should be set to go, and I will see you in game. So here we are in battle. We have our pigeon bombs, who are now white. Um, I have, I seem to not have recolored everything. We've pressed start battle here. You can see they're flapping around. They seem to be not oriented correctly. And this uh, unit card I could make a little bit better. But uh, in, we have it in practice right now. Uh, we can change. We have all of the files selected, all the files loaded correctly. Um, now we just have to uh, change it and tweak it. The stats are not correct at all. They, they're, the bombs don't do enough damage. But you can see that everything is set to go in terms of appearance, unit card, and uh, all we have left to do is balancing and then uploading it to the workshop. So uh, this, is, this is it for now, and I will see you next time.